In a small village surrounded by forests, a wealthy and reclusive craftsman makes a discovery that will change his life. A little girl, lost and frightened in the woods. Without hesitation, he takes her to his mother's house, who, despite her physical disability, is known for her kindness and generosity. But upon returning home and entering without knocking on the door, he was astonished by the scene he witnessed. The unexpected encounter revealed a path of healing and love, transforming everyone's lives in surprising ways. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. In a small village surrounded by dense forests and imposing mountains lived Ethan, a middle-aged man whose deep blue eyes reflected a mixture of loneliness and determination. His greying hair and the gentle lines on his face told the story of a life marked by ups and downs. Ethan was known in the community as a reserved man who rarely took part in the village's social events. Aside from his reclusiveness, Ethan was renowned in the village as a talented craftsman, specialising in creating furniture and various wooden pieces with exceptional skill. His meticulous work and the beauty of his creations were appreciated by everyone, although he kept a low profile. His story was an open secret among the local residents. Years ago, Ethan had been abandoned by his wife without any explanation, leaving him with deep emotional scars. Since then, he had closed himself off from the world, finding solace only in long solitary walks through the forest trails and in his regular visits to his mother, Vivian. Vivian was the opposite of her son in many aspects. Despite her advanced age and physical disability in her legs, she was a luminous presence in the community. Her house, a cosy wooden structure on the edge of the village, always exuded the comforting aroma of freshly baked bread. The villagers loved visiting Vivian, not only for her delicious buns, but also for the small notes of encouragement she handed out with them. It was an autumn afternoon when Ethan's life took an unexpected turn. After visiting his mother, he decided to take one of his usual walks through the forest. The air was fresh, filled with the scent of fallen leaves and damp earth. The trees with their golden and red foliage formed a colourful canopy over the winding trails. That's when he saw her, a little girl, no older than five, huddled under an ancient tree. Her brown hair was dishevelled, and her blue dress was dirty and torn. Her large eyes, filled with tears, looked at Ethan with fear and uncertainty. Ethan approached cautiously, aware that his presence might frighten her even more. Hello, he said gently, kneeling at a safe distance. It's okay. I'm here to help. The girl didn't respond. She simply watched him with wide open eyes without making a sound. He tried again, asking her name and if she was hurt, but the girl remained silent. Ethan thought that perhaps she was too scared to speak, and the idea of leaving her there alone deeply troubled him. He knew he needed help and decided that the best person to take in the child at that moment would be his mother, Vivian. Not wanting to scare her further, Ethan extended his hand, gesturing to indicate that he wanted to take her to a safe place. After a few moments of hesitation, the girl took his hand, standing up on trembling legs. Ethan picked her up in his arms, feeling her small body shaking against his, and began to walk back to the village. The way back felt longer than ever. Ethan could feel the girl's racing heart and hear her irregular breathing. He murmured words of comfort, hoping that somehow his voice might calm her. When they finally reached Vivian's house, Ethan knocked on the door urgently, and soon Vivian appeared, her face shifting from surprise to concern upon seeing the child in her son's arms. Vivian quickly guided them inside, her experienced eyes assessing the situation. She asked Ethan to place the girl on the comfortable living room sofa and sat beside her, stroking her hair while offering words of comfort. Ethan explained that he needed to leave for a while to seek help from the police, and Vivian, with a reassuring smile, assured that she would take care of the girl until he got back. Vivian smiled gently. She needs food and some warm clothes. In the meantime, you can go to the police station to report that we found her. I'm sure her parents must be desperate looking for her. As he left, Ethan felt a wave of relief knowing that the child was in good hands and hurried off to get more information to help her. 
Agreeing with his mother's plan, Ethan headed towards the police station while Vivian took care of Alice. The way to the station was a whirlwind of thoughts for Ethan. He wondered how such a small child could have gotten lost so far from home, and his heart ached at the thought of her parents' despair. Upon arriving at the police station, Ethan was greeted by a scene of controlled chaos. At the reception desk, a young woman was speaking rapidly to a police officer, her hands trembling as she held a photograph. Next to her, another younger woman seemed equally distressed. Ethan approached, catching fragments of the conversation. My daughter Alice, five years old, disappeared this afternoon. The woman's words confirmed his suspicions. This was the child's mother, and her name was Alice. He stepped forward, gently touching the woman's shoulder. Excuse me, he said softly. I think I found your daughter. The woman turned abruptly, her green eyes wide with hope and fear. You found her. Where is she? Is she okay? Ethan nodded, feeling relieved to be able to bring good news. Yes, she is safe. I found her in the forest and took her to my mother's house. She is fine, just a bit scared. The woman who introduced herself as Natalie let out a sob of relief, her legs almost giving out. The young woman beside her, whom Ethan had discovered was Alice's nanny, also began to cry in relief as Alice had gone missing while under her care. Natalie had been at work when everything happened. Quickly, Ethan explained the situation to the police officer and offered to take Natalie and the nanny to his mother's house. The drive back was filled with anxious questions from Natalie, which Ethan answered with all the patience he could muster. Upon arriving at Vivian's house, they were greeted by a scene that warmed everyone's hearts. Alice, now warm and clean, was sitting at the kitchen table, eating a bowl of hot soup. Her eyes lit up when she saw her mother, and she quickly ran into Natalie's arms. Ethan was surprised to realise that Vivian and Alice were communicating using sign language. Vivian had learned signs over the years as she often interacted with people with disabilities at the local community support centre. Alice, who was deaf and mute, seemed more comfortable and secure communicating with Vivian, which brought a sense of relief and gratitude to everyone. The right people had found the girl during that frightening moment she was experiencing. The reunion was marked by a wave of emotion. Natalie hugged her daughter with all her strength as tears of joy streamed down her face. Alice, using her own means of communication, tried to explain what had happened. She recounted that she had seen a puppy and followed it for a long distance, which explained how she had strayed so far. She had likely gotten lost along the way, and the fact that Ethan had found her was a true miracle. Everyone who witnessed that moment felt a deep sense of relief, aware that the outcome could have been very different. Ethan was moved by the situation. His eyes couldn't leave Natalie and Alice. There was something about the scene that touched him deeply, awakening feelings he had long buried. In the days that followed, Natalie made a point of visiting Vivian to thank her once again. Alice, now more comfortable, loved spending time with Vivian, animatedly communicating in sign language. Ethan, initially closed off to new people in his life, sometimes found them at his mother's house when they visited. He began to get used to the visits and even look forward to them. Natalie was a remarkable woman, a single mother, she had raised Alice on her own since the girl's father abandoned her during pregnancy. She worked as a nurse at the local hospital, balancing exhausting shifts with motherhood. Her strength and dedication impressed Ethan, who began to see in her qualities he deeply admired. Over time, the visits became more frequent. Natalie found in Vivian not only a friend, but a maternal figure she never had, as her own family lived in another country. Alice flourished under Vivian's care, learning new words in sign language and gaining confidence. Ethan, in turn, slowly began to open up. The constant presence of Natalie and Alice in his life brought a light he hadn't realised was missing. He found himself smiling more, eager for the moments they spent together. One day, during a picnic in Vivian's garden, Ethan watched Natalie playing with Alice. The afternoon sun bathed the scene in a golden light, 
and he felt his heart fill with an emotion he hadn't experienced in years. It was at that moment he realised he was falling in love. The initial fear of this realisation soon gave way to a sense of peace. Ethan realised that, for the first time in a long while, he was ready to open his heart again. In the weeks that followed, Ethan and Natalie started to meet more frequently, often engaging in intimate conversations and moments of introspection. Sitting in cafes or walking through the village, they shared their stories, dreams and fears. Natalie laid bare her struggles as a single mother, revealing the exhaustion and resilience that had shaped her life. Ethan, in turn, spoke of the pain of his ex-wife's abandonment and the scars it had left. Both knew they carried deep wounds, but together they found a space of understanding and support. This genuine connection brought new hope and a desire for change and healing, allowing them to begin mending their own wounds while mutually supporting each other. Vivian, observing the blossoming of this relationship, felt her heart fill with joy. She saw the change in her son, the sparkle returning to his eyes, the easy smile that had been absent for so long. In Alice, she found the granddaughter she had never had, and in Natalie, a daughter of the heart. It was on a starry night, sitting on Vivian's porch swing, that Ethan finally found the courage to express his feelings. With soft and sincere words, he told Natalie how she and Alice had brought light back into his life. Natalie, with tears in her eyes, confessed that she had also fallen in love with him. Their first kiss was gentle and full of promises. It was the beginning of something new, something beautiful that neither of them had expected to find. As months passed, Ethan and Natalie's relationship blossomed. Alice adored Ethan and Vivian, and this companionship brought great joy to everyone. One year after that fateful day in the forest, Ethan proposed to Natalie. The proposal was simple and intimate, made during a dinner at Vivian's house, with Alice as an enthusiastic spectator. Natalie, with tears of happiness, accepted immediately. The wedding was a joyful celebration held in Vivian's garden. The entire community gathered to witness the union of two hearts that had found love in the most unexpected way. Alice, radiant in her bridesmaid dress, was the one to deliver the rings, her gestures in sign language translating her parents' vows for everyone present. While Ethan and Natalie exchanged their vows, Vivian watched with pride and joy. She knew this was just the beginning of a beautiful journey for her new family. In the years that followed, Ethan and Natalie's home filled with laughter, love and the joy of a united family. Alice grew up happy and secure, loved not only by her parents but also by a grandmother who adored her. Ethan, once lonely and closed off, was now a fulfilled man, grateful for the second chance that life had given him. The story of how they met was a constant reminder of how fate can work in mysterious ways, bringing light and love when least expected. And so, in that small village surrounded by forests, a new family blossomed, born from a moment of kindness and a beautiful twist of fate. It was a reminder for everyone that love has the power to heal old wounds, unite lonely hearts and create new beginnings, even in the most unlikely places. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.